Hey mob, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, we are back with another hair tutorial and today's video will be sponsored by Julia Hair. This is a V-Part Balayage Curly Wig. It is 150% density and this is one of those wigs that, you know, there's no leave out, there's no lace, none of that. So if you want to see exactly how I got the wig to blend and look as natural as possible, then I want you guys to go ahead and keep on watching. I don't know why my lighting switched like this, but <laughs> this is the box that the hair came in. And of course, you're going to have some goodies. So you're going to have some eyelashes, some more hair clips, um, some wig caps, of course, as well as a scarf because you can never have too many of those. You're also going to have this silk bag to keep the hair in. That way it is nice and protected. So here is the hair here. Again, I said this is a Julia hair. It is a V-Part Balayage Curly Wig, 150% density. I can't exactly remember how many inches it is but you guys already know i will have all the direct links and information in the description box down below the hair is pretty like the highlights the color everything is beautiful and as you guys can see it is one of those wigs where there is no lace there is no bleaching involved there's no plucking involved there's no blend well there's blending but <laughs> not the difficult way so i have my natural hair in some twists and i just have the wig cap on um as far as back as i think that i needed it so now i'm just going to get the wig um you know measured up appropriately before i secure it in with this type of wig you're going to want to make sure you take advantage of the side clips as well as the back clip as well just to make sure it's secure and then you're going to clip where the part is as well um so once i lined it up exactly where i wanted it i went ahead and secured it in place now these v-part wigs are super popular and the reason being is because don't nobody want to do all that nonsense with lace all the time <laughs> sometimes you just need a wig that you can just put on and go so as you guys can see when i secure it it looks nice right but the only issue is obviously you're going to see the track so that is the trick with this hair um well with these type of wigs in general you have to hide that track um now i could easily just take out a little bit of my natural hair and just have a little bit of leave out but my dilemma with this particular wig is that my natural hair is not as dark as the roots on this wig. So I came up with my own little trick. I'm going to use a bobby pin. And basically what I do is right next to the track, I secure the bobby pin there. And then when I fold the hair back over the track, it kind of pushes the hair over a little bit more so that it covers the track where the part is. Does that make any sense? I hope you guys could actually see what I did, you know, if what I said doesn't make any sense. But that's pretty much what I I did um now i'm not gonna lie you are going to have to finesse it because sometimes the bobby pin will show so you might have to you know take it out and put it in a different spot but it's really not that bad and i'd rather do this than have my natural hair out anyways that way my hair stays secure and the part still looks natural so yeah, I just had to keep finessing it just to get it the exact way that I wanted it to. You know, some people, they rather just tease, you know, where the part is and they're good with that. Some people rather just have their leave out. That way they don't have to go through all that. That's fine. You know, being that it is curly hair, you could finesse it a little bit more and a lot easier actually. But I wanted to stay true to the wig and I wanted to keep it glueless and I wanted to keep it no leave out and all that stuff. So this is where I got so far. Um, I did fix it, obviously, because you could see the track in the back. But I just wanted to give you guys a close up as to what the bobby pin was doing. And it helped out a lot, honestly. So I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the video because there's not too much that I really need to explain. Um, but I do want to let you know that after I pretty much finessed the part as well as I could on camera... Um, I did go ahead and cut some layers in the front just to help the wig frame my face and I also did finger comb the curls because I don't like perfect you know curls <laughs> I'd rather have the poofy messy curls and I kind of feel like because this is a wig that you know there's no lace or anything involved and you kind of have to finesse it to make it a little bit more natural I feel like the poofiness kind of helps hide the part as well so yeah so I'm gonna let you guys watch and then I'm gonna come back towards the end
all right so i didn't really give you guys a good enough close up on that so um i'm gonna give you guys another one but that is the end of the tutorial i love the hair the color itself is bomb the highlights is bomb oh here's the part so as you guys can see i was able to get the tracks a little bit more hidden um i ended up just doing like this cute little effortless style with the hair and i feel like as far as cutting layers in the front it definitely helped to frame my face a lot more the hair is beautiful the color is beautiful i love it as always i would have all the information listed in the description box down below and i want to thank julia hair for sponsoring this video and i will see you guys next time